He president of the Brazilian Olympic Committee was suspended Friday amid an investigation into a vote-buying scheme to bring the Olympics to Rio de Janeiro in 2009, when Chicago was in the running to host the Games. Carlos Nuzman was suspended by International Olympic Committee a day after he was arrested and accused of storing gold bars in Switzerland. The decision came hours after Brazilian authorities asked for help from prosecutors in Switzerland. The IOC also suspended the Brazilian Olympic Committee and cut ties with the Nuzman-led Rio Games Organizing Committee, which still has unpaid debts. The IOC said its decision will not affect Brazilian athletes, who will continue to receive scholarship funds and be eligible for the 2018 Winter Olympics. Nuzman is suspected of being involved in a bribery scheme of at least $2 million to help win votes from IOC members who chose Rio as host city in 2009 in a four-city contest. The losers were Chicago, supported by then-President Barack Obama, Madrid, and Tokyo. Chicago leaders were stunned when the city lost its bid on the first round of voting. In Daly Plaza, silence fell over thousands of people who had gathered for what they expected would be a victory party. Mayor Richard M. Daly and his lead salesman, insurance titan Patrick Ryan, touted the enterprise as a way to polish Chicago's image on the world stage and create thousands of jobs in some of the city's neediest neighborhoods, where facilities would be built. Mounting Chicago's bid was an expensive, but privately funded endeavor. Nearly $76 million was raised from donors, who also kicked in $16 million worth of goods and services. Chicago's bid for 2016 Olympics leaves pricey legacy seven years later. But it left a pricey legacy for taxpayers. Last year, the Tribune reported that the city was on the hook for about $140 million in principal and interest on the purchase of property for an Olympic village to house athletes. And it was saddled with costly 10-year union contracts that were hammered out to ensure labor peace during the Games. Ryan declined comment Friday. Brazilian authorities say the behind-the-scenes dealings to steer the games to Rio de Janeiro amounted to a criminal organization led by Sergio Cabral, the former governor of Rio who has been jailed on a different corruption conviction. Nuzman is believed to be a central figure in channeling at least $2 million of a Brazilian businessman's money to Lam and Dyak, a former IOC member from Senegal who helped control African votes. Dyak has been arrested in France as part of a wider case of alleged corruption, while he was president of the International Association of Athletics Federations, including blackmailing athletes to cover up doping cases. The French case has also implicated four-time Olympic sprint medalist Frank Fredericks of Namibia. He was an IOC executive board member in October 2009 when he cut a $300,000 payment linked to Brazil and the Dayak family on the day Rio won. Brazilian prosecutors say they believe Nuzman stored 16 bars of gold in a depository in Geneva and greatly increased his wealth while overseeing the Rio bid and organizing committees. They estimated that Nuzman's net worth increased by 457% in his last 10 years as the country's Olympic leader. Nuzman was arrested because investigators found he tried to hamper the investigation by regularizing assets likely gained with illicit money. Last month, he allegedly amended his tax declaration to add about $600,000 in income. Nuzman's lawyer said he denies wrongdoing, and the IOC said he had the presumption of innocence, while its ethics commission studies the case. Suspending Nuzman and removing him from Tokyo work was recommended on Thursday by Ban Ki-moon, the former United Nations Secretary General who the IOC announced last month would chair its panel scrutinizing unethical conduct. Ban noted the, the gravity and urgency of the situation and its impact on the reputation of the IOC, which published the document. The IOC board chaired by President Thomas Bach approved Ban's suggested sanctions on Friday and added others, in a further sign of frustration with Rio organizers since the troubled summer games ended 14 months ago. Bach rebuffed Nuzman's request in July for another cash handout to pay creditors who are owed tens of millions of dollars by the Rio organizing committee.
The IOC repeated on Friday it closed all its obligations with the organizing committee in December 2016.